So, Kansas. I drove across Kansas. And it's uh, genetically modified wheat owned by ConAgra. That's pretty much what Kansas is. Except for, there's this one incredibly cool roadside attraction called the Garden of Eden that was built by this fellow, uh, Dinsmore, who, they, who people call the William Blake of the American West. And he built this house out of, uh, they look like timbers, but they're actually limestone logs. And then he spent the bulk of his life uh, encrusting his yard and trees and things with these incredible um, parables made out of cement. <laughs> like on one, the, the working man is crucified uh, while the, a banker and a preacher and a lawyer and a doctor are watching. And um, on another, there's, a, there's an octopus uh, that has a soldier and a child trapped in its tentacles. The, uh, the octopus is the monopolies. Uh, he's got the goddess of liberty tree with a spear through its head. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. The, he had Adam and Eve greeting you as you walk into the garden and, and uh, <clears throat> the townspeople got all upset with him and, and had him put cement loincloths on them. <laughs> Adam and Eve. Uh, a true eccentric uh, in a country that doesn't tolerate eccentrics. Maybe they tolerated him a little bit better in his time, but probably not. He got people upset. He married a 20-year-old woman when he was 60-something, had a baby, uh, lived his own life. A real hero. Uh, well worth the, tr the, the trip, the trouble of going off of I-70 for about a half an hour to to get to his his place and see what he did. Um, and then wine. Uh, I don't know anything about wine. It's, I did th think that someone, a friend of mine took a wine tasting class and they told him that it was all about the tongue and the different receptors on the tongue, but I looked that up just to make sure it was right and it's wrong apparently. Or Maybe it is right, and the thing that said it's wrong is wrong. Who knows? So it shows you that we don't know anything about anything, which leads to the <coughs> five things I don't know, which is more, more like five million things I don't know. And the things that Z said, those are pretty much my things. Um, there are books that I haven't read that I want to read, like St. Augustine's Confessions, and uh, that's on my list right now. And and uh, I have kind of a policy about not buying books, so it gets in the way. And uh, the book that uh, the guy that Sean Bedlam referred to lately, I can't remember his name, but I'm really curious about that. Um, I want to know how to do the technical crap that I need to do to make the videos that I want to make. That, that's a frustration in my life. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know how to connect with people about the things that are important to me. I really don't know how to connect with people who watch a lot of television without talking about television, which I don't want to talk about. So, boy, am I getting depressing? I think so. So I better stop. Thanks. Bye.